Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. So today, we're going back into Grafton because I still want to play some of the farmhouses. We have another Lisa ghost, and some hunt objectives, and also the CCTV is starting to escape. So we already have a crazy start here. Alright, I know where the breaker is, and as I walk in here, I wanted to mention something. I don't know if you can even tell, I have a little bit of a different uh, webcam angle, and that's because I moved my desk because I dug out my old VR. I mentioned this before in a Sons of the Forest video, but I have a Rift S from like 2021, and I was thinking about VR, and specifically Half-Life Alex, and even I did get, a, get that on sale, and I've been playing that, but I did play Phasmophobia in VR. And I have to admit, after going back to VR, you really do appreciate this game in a whole other way again. Now, VR is kind of buggy. But honestly, I kind of had a good experience for the most part. And the weirdest part is the doors. When you grab onto a door, the game just like freaks out and your hands freak out and the door freaks out. So that was the only thing that was kind of struggling. But I played on Willow and I wanted to do that because I wanted a hiding spot like this. This isn't even a hiding spot. Maybe this is technically. But I wanted, you know, a hiding spot like this. And it is really fun to get hunted by the ghost and have to smudge. So... Maybe for Halloween, or maybe sooner. I would like to do some videos in VR. Okay, so of course as I was walking around and talking, don't think I heard anything. But we have a hiding spot back there. Now, uh, also those cursed items, man, I really don't remember them on this map. I don't think I saw the Ouija board back there. But I'm gonna continue walking around here. I really haven't explored the whole place yet, I guess. Now see, I think I turned on some of these light switches. I wasn't even really paying attention. I do like turning on some of the switches just to have the lights on once I turn the breaker on. Could just be over here. Okay, no. See, I don't even know where the mirror is. I think the mirror could be right there. Okay, I'm starting to think the first item's gonna be on the next floor. Well, I'll check back here. Oh, look, the bone. So is there a hiding spot too? Yes, I can rely on back here for a hiding spot. So I guess the hiding spots I'll think about are that one and that one in there if I can get to them. But I'm, I assume the ghost is on the second floor here. Oh, I think I just heard a door or something. Let's try and- oh! Oh, well, there's that pitch shift again. Okay, yeah, you really are doing all activity up here. Oh. <laughs> I saw that, and I wondered if that was actually turned. Okay. No EMF for any of this. Will I still get dirty water even if there's no EMF? Yeah, okay. Let's start trying to get good photos. Maybe we'll get another perfect game here. Now, it is already really cold. I have to, like, learn the temperature ranges for when it's snowy. But let me look around. I think the monkey paw or the voodoo doll would be in here. I think I saw the, where the monkey paw would have been. I think this is also a hiding spot technically too. Okay. I have some options, but this one's pretty close to the ghost room. What about- oh yeah, look. I've never actually seen this, so the chairs moved now. So yeah, that officially became a hiding spot. This is actually the first time I've ever seen that chair in that spot. Okay. Is it just going to be the- well, I don't know what I'm looking for, I already have the bone. Is it the summoning circle? Yeah, see, I'm just showing out. Oh, it is. Okay. I guess maybe I did look at every location. So, I don't need a photo of the ghost. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that was a three star. Are these open? Oh my god, they are. Okay, we have a lot of options for hiding. So we do need to escape, I think. We need, we need to use the smudges and the crucifix. Now, I haven't really seen the ghost out here. Alright, let me just drop my stuff and come on back. Oh, there's a 2 EMF that I don't know what's for. Maybe it's for the door. Although, when I get further away from the door... I don't know what that interaction was for. I don't want to start thinking it was another... Oh, and you broke the lights. I don't want to think that that was another random 2 EMF. Let's just get some evidence in here and try and figure it out that way. Who knows what my sanity's at now after that. Oh, actually... Eh, that's about where I thought it would be, I guess. So, it doesn't seem like a only 20% drain. We have good photos. I didn't get a ghost photo there. I don't need one. We just need to escape, cleanse, and prevent a hunt. So we'll 
worry about that later. I'm also worried about this guy getting loose. Who knows what happens when that guy gets loose. But let's just get some simple evidence in there. I always just kind of grab some random evidence and bring it in there. I'm not afraid of a hunt, although that's some activity. Yeah, I got like lights on all the way in the back room there, so I'm not worried about the breaker going out. At least the house is lit up if I have to run away without my flashlight. That was a throw. Too bad I didn't really get that on camera. Oh my god. Why did you have to break the light for me? At least I have the rest of the house lit up. Okay, I'm gonna stand in the dark here. I don't see any ghost orbs. I really do think it's this room though. Especially with that throw. I should check EMF on that. Oh. No way. How are you hunting? Okay, this is a hiding spot. What? That's not fast. Could just... Please don't kill me while I'm in my book here. Okay, you went to the other floor. Is this... Oh my god, wrong page. Am I... Is this a demon? It could just be a demon. Well, let's get the crucifix in here if it is. We'll get that objective done. I mean, the only ghost that could hunt that early would be like a they. Maybe it's like, oh well, we didn't get ghost orbs. I can't see anything. Oh my god, it is pitch black. Well, I appreciate that crazy of a hunt. But since we don't know what anything is, and thankfully I didn't- I was almost gonna pick up my flashlight there, but I really didn't need to. I'm like, that is pretty much instantly demon, so let's get these in here. Now, what would the evidence for a demon be? UV, ghost riding, and freezing. So, I want to bring in the two crucifixes, but I guess we can turn determine if it's freezing. Yeah, like, the only thing that would hunt that early is a demon or a fey, and a fey would have been fast. Okay, let's just determine it by the crucifixes here. I'm, I don't even trust myself. That's, I really want to get a lot of games in on the channel before I start even trusting my gut instinct anymore. Alright, get- oh no, you turn off the breaker. Well, one crucifix here and one here should more than cover it. Let's get one of the evidence. Oh, you didn't write. But it is freezing. Yeah, again, I, I pretty much instantly know that that's gonna be a demon. Now, still trying to see if I can get good photos here. That was a throw. See, I'm kind of worried about taking a picture of a throw. I am trying to get, like, perfect photos here. Maybe, oh, well, it's going to be pretty easy, too. I kind of forget there are ways to, like, make it easy to get perfect photos. Oh, God, where's my camera? Where's my camel? Well, we got the writing. It's not a revenant. Sure as shit, not a shade. Now, Moroi. I think... Oh my god. Oh, you threw my... Oh my... Please. I like getting real photos. Okay. Huh. I don't know if, like, the crucifix is lower the chance of it hunting, but... I mean, we're, I feel pretty safe now. Okay. Uh, oh, we got the interaction. Now we have the ghost riding. I just need two more three-star photos here. No. I keep hearing you throw something over here, but I don't know what it is. It's like you're throwing something under the floor. Now I need to really come up with like a strategy because I'm kind of lost. What was that last evidence we need? UV for demon, so maybe we can get that. I'll get some salt to try and get some last good photos. Now the breaker. Maybe we can go adventure and try and get the breaker on. Okay, I want to get the breaker on. Okay, maybe we have enough of a cooldown to get this on. There's even a hiding spot back here. It's like, man, sometimes on professional you can have a lot of hiding spots. I didn't even... So much for t uh, having time. Okay, I need to get a smudge in here. I'm gonna bring back two smudges and the lighter. And I have, I'll have photos of the crucifixes to take. So, I'll have the photos, and then I guess I'll have to, like, do the smudge objective. Now, it's been using that still above 50, so, I mean, it's pretty obviously a demon, especially, you know, I, I mentioned it not using the crucifixes, and then it uses up two of them. Now, I think the Moroi would be spirit box, but we pretty much know it's a demon. Oh, let me, I mean, I guess I could just look at it here. You know, oh, we just need to cleanse, I thought I had to escape, or... 
Escape the ghost during a hunt. I guess I technically did. Okay. I guess that first hunt, it actually saw me go down the stairs, but I broke line of sight and got away. Alright, cool. I actually got that objective without needing a smudge. Alright then, demon. I'm walking right in here, smudging you. Getting that confirmation. Uh, let's make sure. I get these photos. Now, go out to this one. Alright, that's all three star. Very nice. We got the bone. We got all the objectives. Now, the only thing we don't know for sure is the UV. So, I want to be a thorough ghost investigator. I'm going to keep my lighter on me. I'm going to go get... Oh my god. I'm going to go get the UV to confirm it. Even though we pretty much know this is a demon. Now, I turned that breaker on, but I never turned on the light. Alright, I got salt, a glow stick, and then another smudge. Now, about those lights, yeah, let's get these turned on. There's no reason not to have these on. So, oh my god, I didn't even realize that one wasn't even used. But no matter what, we should be good here. Where's that UV? I think I picked up both my smudges. Oh, there we go. It's that weird book noise. There, that's all we needed. Now, it's not a mimic. I mean, we pretty much know that. I just like being really thorough here until I really trust myself. I mean, I've had a, a good amount of games where I've messed up. So let's just take a last look. No ghost orbs. No. Oh, wait, did you turn off the breaker again? Oh, I, that was weird. I don't know how the, maybe you turn off this light. I am so confused. How are you turning off the lights, but not the breaker? The lights were turned off before that crucifix burned up. Well, I'm happy with this investigation, but I always feel like, I don't know, maybe we should say goodbye to the ghost. Either way, we got all the evidence. Maybe I shouldn't just like risk it. I didn't have to use the summoning circle. I thought like I was definitely going to have to, you know, escape with a smudge and I'm kind of risking that here. Oh wow, that door touch was like back there. Okay, yeah, our crucifixes are burned up. Maybe we should just step on out of here. But either way, I mean, I don't... Alright, look, I think we're good enough here to have a solid investigation. And we got two dirty water photos. Or did we? I thought we did. Oh, I guess I just got one for the interaction. Alright, well, anyway. It, even though this was like a crazy early hunting demon, I did a pretty good job of surviving, so... I don't know. Next time I'm going to play Nightmare though, so we'll see if this carries over. Okay, so uh, I'm hoping for solid here. Perfect investigation. There's that 230. About It's usually around 230. I think it was like 225 last time. But oh man, only 100 from the daily, so see, yeah, 70 photos. So, I mean, 1400, that's really good for a professional game. I don't think I unlocked anything. Darn it. I also hit next. See, so, yeah, I was just confused if I had unlocked anything, but I didn't, so unfortunately I didn't get to look at the stats for that, but it was a demon, it was pretty obvious, and it's kind of funny that that happened on camera, because I had that demon on Willow that happened off camera, so that was kind of a similar situation, even though that hunt, I mean, I had enough time to get away from it, but it was kind of interesting, that hunt, that very first one, how I actually technically got away from it. I guess it saw me going down the stairs, and then I broke line of sight, and I got kind of lucky that that hiding spot was right there, but I mean, there were a ton of others of that I could have gone to. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.